ladies, it's time for another haul. It's been a while. I have a lot of very cute things and one very exciting thing that is a huge bow bag. Everybody got theirs already and mine finally arrived, so I'm very excited. So, let's go. Okay, let's start with all the small things and then we'll go to this bag at the end. First, there's this decoration store in Switzerland called Depot. Maybe also in Germany and France. And they had sales. So first I saw this butterfly and I think it was $6 originally. And it was on the shelf everything for $1. And I think it even went at 85 cents or something. So, okay. And they had also these that I thought would be super cute in my plants on my balcony. And also they were just $1 instead of 10 each. And so I took two. So I'm very excited to put that on my balcony. I wanted to show you before before I put it in the earth, but yeah, let's do that. And also there at Depot, they had uh, basically every Easter decoration were discounted. And everything, like for everything that I'm showing you, uh, it was less than $5, so impressive. So those are super tiny. Uh, bunnies and have just one thing to stick them. Maybe I'll remove that. I don't know if I will remove the glitter or not, but there's several sizes and it's pink and glitter, so it will be absolutely perfect in my decor for next year's uh, Easter decoration. And there were also tiny butterflies. In my Easter decor, I have a lot of uh, butterflies and feather, and these are a crystal. No, like it's plastic, but clear plastic, and I have two different sizes and three of them. It was originally just two dollars for these, but the discounted, it was really, really worth it this time. Okay, now something super cool is a custom jewelry that I had made by Crazy World of Val. It's a friend of mine. Uh, she's in the uh, Swiss Lolita community, and this one is dark pink glitter, and it says kawaii. And I like that it's darker, so we will flash a lot and this chain is very cute so yeah this one says kawaii and i have let me find them i have earrings that also say kawaii those are mint and they have another kind of uh, texture but it's super cool, cute and i like how big they are because they will be very well seen so excited for these yay now, my mother went to London and at the British Museum, I think, she brought me back these. They are lip balm and they are mummies. And she knows that I studied Egyptology and I love Egypt. And there are three lip balm and one is pink, one is mint and one is yellow. I mean, yeah, but she thought it was perfect for me. So I, I agree, let's see. So here they are. Mm, they are scented, so this one looks just pineapple flavor. Interesting for the pink one. Do they have different ones? <laughs> this one <laughs> is the yellow one, strawberry fragranced. This is interesting. I'm wondering if there was not a mix up, but the thing is, it's written strawberry on the label that is yellow, so in this one. Blueberry for the mint. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, interesting. So I'm looking forward to use that. That's very cool. Thank you, mom. Okay, now I want to tell you an update about all my glue for um, eyelashes. So this one is the Magnetic Liquid Liner from Ordell. And it is not a pen, it is a very thin brush. The thing is, it really looks like a pen on the thing and it's actually like squared flat at the bottom uh, and not pointy like on the picture but it's actually okay because you need to make a thick line anyways so it's okay but i would say that i really prefer pens they're easier to to make one line and not make a mess and also you really need to let them dry a lot because if you don't it just won't stick but it actually works well and it was only 1890 
so about like 18 dollars which is cheaper than the pants that are around 30 39 so this is definitely a good deal i'm actually happy about that that now i have several options and if one is empty i have another one while we are with makeup i went to the benefit uh bro bar the other day to get my brows done like um like cut out and also dyed and they gave me this this is a sample of she said it's like a mascara for brows oh that's nice i'll see if it works out i don't know if they have different color this is brown volumizing microfiber okay we'll check it out next time uh, if it works out because now I also had them dyed and I don't know if I'm very happy about that because she told me that the places where my brows were very um, spread apart it will help but also she put the same amount of dye on the places where I already had thick brows so now it's even more visible that I have differences I'm very a baby in the brow things because I usually never plug them out and I'm very bad at that so I'm trying to be a little bit of... okay uh, let me show you stuff from Marianne and then we have a bunch of letters and then we'll go to the bag okay so Marianne found another plushy pattern and she made one to go I will show you the dress I think it's in toy doll box uh, this bunny I think it's in a in a like doll box actually and uh, and she made it uh, to look like exactly that and there's also a thing here when I can actually make it as a necklace like you ne huge necklace and so I'm very excited it looks really cool so thank you Marianne and many other things uh, she made a huge necklace like that and this one is my melody themed she already did it Ooh. Uh, with a Hello Kitty also but she changed it for my melody and I think she had a Kuromi one for her or something like that and we can like twin one light one dark and she explicitly made it pink white and uh, mint for me so yeah it would work well with that so I'm very excited to start wearing that actually it's been in the box to wait for the haul and I could not wear it yet but it's like a magical girl wand and it's really really fun she also put another one uh, it's an ice cream thing and it's a cone and she gave that to me so I'm not sure what I would do with that maybe I'll put a pom-pom inside of that and make it like an ice cream and put it in my decor I have made the summer decor now so maybe it would be fun let's do that like the white uh, or dark pink pom-pom and yeah I think it would be nice and something else so she made a snow globe with a small horse uh, that was supposed to be exactly one I have in a sugar dream dome a dress and she wanted to make it a necklace but because the the thing is so thick we looked and the necklace would look like that and you would not see the horse so she said that she will maybe uh, cut it in half and uh, do it flat so I can wear it like that and see the horse but she said she might try to do another one and in the meantime I put something for the Christmas tree and I can hang that on my Christmas tree as a decoration I need to close it better obviously but yeah okay something else this is from Aliexpress and I bought two ribbons for my shoes so I have sneakers that are mint and they're just regular basic sneakers from Skechers and they're cute but also even if I washed them they could not really come back perfectly clean and everything and I really wanted some Lolita sneakers that I could wear like every day and be comfortable but still cute and I realized that most of the time what makes the those sneakers reliable is the shoelaces so I bought some uh, satin shoelaces from Aliexpress and I'll try to see if I can change my shoelaces because it's a bit weird and those shoelaces are actually sewn onto the shoe but I really don't want the mint anymore so I might have to uh, cut them and try to replace and I took two with I think this one will be already quite wide but then when you make a bow this one will be better because it's thicker so I'll try both 
but I think that with my min shoes and these uh, shoelaces it will be cute uh, mint and pink basic ones and then these will probably get dirty and I can just wash them or just change them so we'll see I will obviously post pictures of it uh, of my change and uh, yeah we'll see while I'm at that uh, I totally forgot to show you the result of my shoe modification so let me show you that I have two little shoes that I'm wearing all the time. It's the mint and the glitter pink ones from Fluffy Toy. And they were getting destroyed because I've been wearing almost only that for like two years, three years. I don't even know, a lot of time. And they were getting destroyed. I bought new ones and the new ones were too small. So I'm leaving for the US for two and a half months and there was no time to get new ones in between and I could really not go uh, to events that I'm invited to with crazy, dirty, broken shoes. So I decided to fix them. Um, obviously it will be temporary and when the new ones come I probably will only keep these ones to go in the forest or really not pretty meetups, you know what I mean? But let me show you. So this one, uh, they had a lot of cracks because of the you know movements of the shoe and uh, it uh, removed some of the glitter so I mixed a few of my other glitter and I put them back like seeing it now in the viewfinder I cannot see it closely I can totally see that it's a different color of uh, um, glitter but it, yeah if you look closer you can see but from far away and on pictures it's way better than having the white lines because there's no glitter on it and these ones uh, they were all cracked in front also they were open so I gave it to the shoemaker to, to glue it back and then I just put paint here I made a mix of the acrylic paint for my walls and gouache to get the exact same color and I got the pretty much exact same color and you can still see the texture because the the kind of uh, fabric was uh, split or something and it, it made bumps so I just did not peel it or anything I just glue uh, painted on them so when you look closely it looks not so good but from far away you cannot really see that it has different color and again it's just to be okay in pictures so now let's open mail to bellamy extra brushes i'm not sure how to put the plural of extra brushes actually okay this one i can actually show you i guess oh i totally forgot about this one so yay very nice supporting bruno bellamy in his tipi and every month i get a new one and sometimes uh, when people pledged a lot in his TP, which is like Patreon, we get the second one. So there was a month with only one. Ooh, okay, this one is a little bit transparent. So I might have to hide it, but very nice. Oh, the other one is extra special. Okay, so nice. And this one is extra special because this is uh, his interpretation of uh, Gothic Lolita and he actually made this uh, drawing for me originally just to thank me because I've been supporting him for so long I'm so so touched and he gave me the original like three four years ago or something like that and also she has green eyes and uh, yeah so now we decided to use this one as a, as a second uh, extra bricks for his supporters so I'm very touched to have received the one that he made for me an extra, that's really cool. So thank you so much again, Bruno Bellamy. And now other postcards. Uh, we went to Polymonga and this one was just a flyer for um, two artists, Ray Desart and Lee Fitzart and Ray Fitzart. Okay, I'm so sorry if I'm butchering your names, but I loved that they had uh, glitter on their print and Florian bought a poster I think from them or a bigger print and they actually for selling postcards like that and this one was just an advertisement like like a business card or something for them and oh my god it was so pretty with the glitter so thank you and also they had an animal crossing picture booth that was so so cool and they gave postcards but that's a bit sad because they were all in German it's like Liebegrüße from the island insel uh, so um, kisses are from the island. Yeah, everything is the same, but uh, yeah, it's a bit sad, but they were cute. I like this one. So yay! 
I think this one is an Angelic Pretty thing. And this one, okay, this one is very exciting. It is a trade. You know that I have made my own uh, trading cards and now we have a template on my website where you can download it. No, actually on the Flavitoria website where you can download the template for free and make your own card in Photoshop. But also if you want, you can pay us uh, to make your card for you if you don't know how to make it. And so uh, we are trading a card with someone who made their cards and I asked them to give me a few so I can share with the uh, Eden and the uh, Mezzo and I'm very excited and also if you do make your own card tell me and we can also exchange I will send a bunch of mine and we can do that I, I really want to trade all the trading like collect all the trading cards of people doing that and uh, this summer at convention I will definitely bring that oh that's very cool oh and she had them laminated so Gabby Leo T Hello Joelle and the Fluffy Kawi team. I loved you, the trading card game concept very much. I hope more people make them and we can exchange them at meets. A few one I printed are misprinted and I have a white space on the right, but I still love them very much. I guess if they're pretending it's a trading card game, a misprint make them rarer and more valuable. Thanks for everything you do for the J Fashion community, Gabby. Thank you so much, Gabby, this is so cool. So she sent me at least 10 or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yeah, that's amazing. So I will definitely keep one for me and keep one for Mezzo and Eden. And maybe these other seven I will bring with me and we can trade them. That would be so, so cool. I love that. And so hers is 2022 and mine is still 2021. And I had a lot of issues in printing. so. I I'll probably keep the 2021 at least for this season until I run out and maybe I'll do the 2022 for the end of, I don't know, maybe I will skip 2022 and run straight to 2023, we'll see, but anyways. And so uh, their pronoun is they, them, uh, sorry if I said the wrong pronoun first. Uh, Gabby from France, uh, their motto is both, both is good. Favorite style, classic and sweet Lolita. Favorite color, blues and purples. Superpower, old person in a young body. And their social media is Gabrielouche on Instagram. Awesome. Very, very cute. So, I'm excited to see people using uh, the different colors that we have done. Mine is mint and pink, but you can do whatever you want. And there's even a texture on this one. So, if you take the if you take the template, you can basically do it everything as you want. Use your own font, your own texture. So, really exciting. Oh, that's amazing. I think it's the first one that I'm holding in my hand. We designed another one from someone else, but I don't have them in my hands. We did not exchange them yet. So I'm really looking forward to do more of that. Now we have an Angelic Pretty brooch, I think. Hello, Joelle, thank you so much for your purchase. I hope you like the brooch. Thank you again, Red Cupcake. It's gorgeous, oh my God. I think it's the one that goes with the chest chocolate. I'm not 100% sure, but it's gorgeous. And on the back, it's very, very professional. And yeah, I love it. I love it so much. And I think it will work with my stuff. And also I could put that on Florian also uh, to have him a little bit more fancy when uh, I dress him up in OG. So yay, I'm excited. It's so pretty. So definitely a nice bit. I'm actually wondering if it's a real AP because there's no AP logo anywhere. Is it a, hmm. It might actually not be a real AP and somebody just uh, copied that to make it look like AP. I need to find out, but at least I really love it. Anyways, even if it's a fake, it's pretty. Okay, two new things from Fluffy Tori that I want to show you. I'm not sure if I've shown you this already, but uh, we have these handmade Lolita shoes, cake shoes that also Lovely Lore has one pair. And this one was too small for a customer, so we have it here. And so they have the hooks, or you can change if you want something else, just let us know. And it holds like that. And the other one has the separate 
heart thing that you can put here and adjust it for you. So it's a collab with Rolling Rockabilly. I sent them a plain white Lolita shoes and she makes the cake one and sends them to me again. So this is gorgeous, I love them. Obviously it's handmade so it's not perfect. This is because it's handmade. So I'm so happy how they look. They are absolutely amazing. Okay. Uh, we, you can have your own custom made and this one I will send to um, Kuroshiro Kawaii so maybe you will find it. And another product that is actually not yet on the website, probably it will be by the time that you will watch this video, it's the Splashy Bird handbag and we saw this uh, holographic blue tote bag that we thought would be perfect with this collection and inside I have put my bathing suit. And this Friday we are doing a photo shoot with the new bathing suit colors and we have plus size models and I'm actually modeling. <laughs> I'm not sure how I will feel modeling bathing suit but very excited. By the way, uh, there's the other one with the pink one and the like uh, hot blue at the bottom like a chill and I thought it would be more pretty on me but actually the fact that all the top is pink and very close to my skin tone was really weird because you would not really see that and then the skirt so I decided to take the lavender one I know shocking but yeah I think it is more flattering on my body than the other one weirdly okay now let's open this huge bag I think I ordered it in July last year or something. We are now in May. Let, let me check. August last year. We are now in May. So like 10 months ago. And I paid a lot because it came from this shopping service that I would not uh, want to promote at all anymore and that I talked about in uh, my other video that I will link up there. So yes, I will tell it so you don't go. Sweet Candy Lolita. I will stop buying from them and it costed me a lot of money plus, oh, they gave me the pink things that I, they forgot to send me last time, so I'm good. And yeah, I'm actually happy that I finally got it and I got extra things. I'm not sure if it's a gift because of the the issues I had with the cello pet or the time it took for this bag or something like that. I don't know actually but I I'll have to check. I think they might have mentioned the gift. It's very cute but it's some kind of purpley navy. I'm wondering if it will go with my um, dress from baby that is navy for winter because it would be cute actually that kind of fur scuffs for winter and are they too tight they seem very tight okay it's tight but not too too tight at least for photos it's okay um okay so if it's a gift thank you i don't remember how much i paid for the bag itself but, but for shipping i paid 50 extra pounds for shipping this is insane insane okay uh the bag is here but let me show you the other stuff I got with it first. Okay, I have postcards. I have two of each postcards. Nice, so I can put them in a trade uh, pile. And it's uh, from Boguta. Yes, it's a bag uh, Taobao bread. And they do also petticoats. And I bought from them a flower petticoat that is coming. So I'm excited about that. So uh, yeah, I have those twice. And they are glittery, like shimmery, very nice. And two more, actually, also from Boguta for their dresses. It's more like the after sale service card or something, but very nice. Is that a clear file? Yay! I'm happy because at first I was like, I don't really want to use all those clear files because they're precious. And then I was using very boring everyday transparent clear fires and now I'm rocking the Lolita clear fires and uh, everything is in its own clear file. Now we are filming a super cool uh, Normie video with Marianne and I have all the cool uh, things from my YouTube projects in one, all my invoices are in one, so yeah, excited. Okay, the baggers are here! 
Yeah, oh my god. This is the L size. So they had many different sizes. I think this is the way up. So I thought it would be even bigger. Oh, I mean, it's big enough, but I've seen people wearing this bag already. So I know how it works. So all this is nothing, just fluff. Uh, all this too, and there's only pockets, I think, here. Ah, oh, wait, this is a big pocket. Oh, wait, or do you open it? I'm confused. Ah, no, okay. There are two pockets, and you have to lift a little bit to inside to open it. And, ooh, so they even have a protection around the hurt here. The, like the, the, the thing to... Okay, and so all this is one one pocket for bag, so I can put my full hand. So if I want to put my phone, it goes completely. I uh, might not be able to fill. Let's see. Ah, I think it passes through. Let me check. There's another opening here for the other one. All this is one big pocket, and but you have two openings, one on each side, but you can put stuff inside of it, so it does communicate. So if I have a long thing like my um, tripod to film and things like that, I could definitely put it here, or a water bottle or something. Just know that here in the middle it's a little bit more tight because of the thing in the middle, but yeah, I think you can still put a lot of things. But that's a shame that they did not do the same for the back. I don't understand why, but maybe if you put two heavy things, it would make that, and here it's smaller, so it will not fall. I'm probably sure there's a reason, but okay. So this is the bag. I'm so excited. When you see people with that bag, the first picture I saw were at Disney, and so it really looks like, I don't know, mini or a Disney character with the huge bow on the back of the dress. So I think, especially for me in Sweet Lolita, it would be so pretty. I'm not sure it's very practical. It's not a three-way bag or something. It's just um, a backpack. So these are the lanyards. How does that work? Oh, this has washing instructions, but all in Chinese. Uh, let me check the photos. Oh, by the way, Cupcake Kamisama did a review of this bag and uh, she showed how much you can fit in the bag, which is very good. Okay, she actually seems to have two straps. Oh, yeah, I did not really see. So both of them were hidden here. So there's two levels of straps. Okay, I'm just not very paying attention. Okay, so this one should be in the front. Yay! And so this is nice and fluffy. I'm wondering if this kind of fake leather will flake or peel out at some point. I'm not sure, but it doesn't look like the most sturdy one, so we'll see. But I'm a bit worried that the two things are like here and here and not... I would have imagined this one like here instead of here at the top with the other, you know what I mean? But I think it's too short for that. I will try that and show you my impression of that, but I'm very happy. It's actually, the color is a little bit more dusty pink and uh, a little bit more lavenderish than my very sweet um, pink, but I think it still works a lot with even with this pink it would work and so I think it would be a great addition to my wardrobe. Now I'm considering will I want to bring that to the US because I mean that for Disney would be amazing but do I want to do that or not? I don't know because it's huge! I think it will take like half of my suitcase or do I want to have that as a carry-on in the, in the plane? Probably not! So probably not the best bag to take with me in the US so that's a bit of shame because I won't be able to use it, and especially not for Disney. So this is a shame, if I cannot travel to Disney with this bag, what will I do? This is how it looks in the front, you have the nice sleeves like that. I think it's very cute because it adds something to your coordinate and you can see it from the front also, a little bit like the big bow, so it's not that ugly. Uh, as a backpack that has very uh, ugly straps. Also, they're quite thick, so if you put some weight, it will still be comfortable. And I think it's 
gorgeous! I love that, I'm very excited. I want to try it. Okay, something that I'm noticing is that... No, okay, I thought I had the thing here under my arm and it would be uh, bothering me. Yeah, maybe it does. We'll see, maybe I'll make it a little bit longer, um, adjust it. We'll see how it is the most comfortable by using that, but I'm very excited about this bag, yay! So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this haul. If you like hauls, there's a huge playlist of tons of hauls here. So if you don't know what to do while you're doing your makeup or laundry or dishes or anything where you can just hear in the background and occasionally look at the phone, this is the playlist for you. And remember, everybody can be kawaii.